Welcome back, everybody, to the Breakthrough Moment podcast. I'm so excited to interview you, Laura. Laura Helen is here. Welcome. Thank you for having me. For those of you who don't know Laura, she's a, an award uh, world schooling mum, an award winning author and speaker. She she's actually written five books. One of her books is called Creatively Homeless. And also, Laura specializes in helping people get their voice back. She truly listens and cares and creates transformations in people who want to make a difference and who want to make an impact. And so, super excited to dive into your breakthrough moment, Laura, in just a moment. And I'll just do a quick little intro as to this podcast. And for those of you who are tuning in for the first time, the breakthrough moment is all around sharing successful entrepreneurs' pivotal moment in their life and their business that broke them into the next level of success. And as they share their breakthrough moment, us at home can also have a breakthrough as well. So without further ado, Laura, I would love to know uh, some of your breakthrough moments. Super curious. So for me in business, when I had, we went from no children to two children very quickly, very messy story. And hubby was working like three jobs to try and support us. And I'm like, I need to make money online. How can I do this? I have a huge heart and a passion to make a difference. But no one knew who I was. How do I get out there if I haven't got the results yet? And it was just a massive struggle. So we did loads of trainings, loads of courses. And the big pattern that kept coming up was anyone who's anyone has got a book. And I'm like, no, they haven't. So I started looking at it, all the people I admire and I'd learned from and realized <laughs> they're actually right. Everyone who's anyone has a book. And then I'm like, okay, that's great. But I have two under three-year-olds like where am I going to block out a year to write a book? And that was my biggest breakthrough was learning I could create all the content for my book in four hours. So I started creating books while my children napped. And we made such a storm. We made such a difference with our books that everyone started asking us how we did it. And that's how my business was created. And that's where it all blossomed from. So much so that even my children create books. My daughter's spoken on stages all around the world because of her books. She's got five in three languages. She started writing at seven and she inspired her little brother. And when he was four, he's now 12 and has 45 published books. And they're both winning awards for these books. Wow. Are you serious? This is incredible. He's got 45 books. Published. We haven't done all the others yet. We, we're so busy. <laughs> he was 12. Oh, got it. Yeah. Wow. And this is, this is super inspiring. Okay. Amazing. Um, then like, gosh, I'm kind of shocked. That's the usual. Let me give you a lifetime orphan. then. So, so we were a family of authors and we love travel. And my messy story of becoming a mum was while I was pregnant with my first, we brought home a traumatized three-year-old crazy situation, huge legal battles, the legal costs. We practically mortgaged a child with no way to pay, but we had to make her safe. So then we were like frantically we had so much month left at the end of every paycheck. Times were tough. Um, I'm very much a burn the boats person. So we decided to create life differently and started traveling. And the short of it is in three years, we managed to pay off all that debt whilst traveling the world of our children. But our biggest breakthrough was one night in France. It all went very wrong. We call it the week. <laughs> Everything went wrong. We lost bank cards. We got bank cards stolen. All these things happened. And we actually had one night outside a train station, like on the streets with the kids. Absolute breaking moment for me. But by the time they all woke up at 6 a.m., I'd made six grand in the bank and discovered the world of house sitting. So now we travel the world for free, looking after mansions all over the world. It's magical. So in my biggest breakdown was my biggest breakthrough. And that just gave us absolute world freedom. Perfectly. You said it. Perfectly. Breakdowns created the breakthrough. So you woke up with another six thousand dollars in your account. You you're you're a powerhouse. You're an incredible manifest. It's incredible. So <laughs> how did you do that? I sat up all night with my phone and my charge bank and my little iPhone six back then and just was reaching out to anyone I'd connected with because we did so many events and just kept adding value and adding value and adding value until someone said yes. <laughs> Because when, when the kids went to sleep on me and daddy that night, I felt like an absolute failure. Like it absolutely was breakdown to breakthrough. Like it was my most broken moment. I failed as a mum, as a wife, as a human. Had a little meltdown, 
um, I give myself 90 minutes to get over myself. And then I just cracked on and just thought, if I just add enough value to enough people, something will come back. And by the time they woke up, I'd beam and smile. This is never going to happen again. I found a way we don't have to pay to live in the world. And I've created all this money to go play. Wow. What a turnaround. That's incredible. Has, did that change? So so now what countries have you been to and how long you guys been traveling for? So this is our eighth year of travel. Um, our children have been traveling since they were really little. So they're now 12 and 15. And they've been over to over 16 countries. They were working out the other day. They've been on over 30 something planes. And they've managed to ex explore, learn different, you know, languages, cultures, communities. And really, we world school. So they get immersed in all these cultures. And because we house it rather than do the resorts, they really see the country. As soon as we land, the homeowner will introduce us to the locals, to the best spots, to where to go, what to do, what to eat. So we're instantly part of a community rather than on the tourist route. So they really get to really know different people, different lifestyle, different beliefs. When we do history, they ask all different people what their versions are. Rather than reading one version in a book and being told it's the truth, they learn all different versions and come up with their own conclusions. So it's really grounding. They're really open-minded, down-to-earth little kids. So cool. So cool. Very inspiring. These kids are the, the, the leaders of tomorrow, I bet. So take, take us back to the first breakthrough. I'm really curious to know, you know, to, to be able to write a book in four hours, how did that change your mindset? in terms of, so now you're helping other people, but did that open up a new level of belief of what's possible when you started to realize, hey, I can write books and help other people? So I always wanted to help other people. And if I'm honest, to start with, I made that first book a bit selfishly. Like I want to show people what I've got and that be like my, like an expensive business card. So people really get to know me before I try and sell them. So everyone's will market, not cold. And that was my marketing strategy. But I realized when you create your book, when you share your story, you share it from the raw place of pain that you went through. But when it's all created and you read it back, it's like taking your name out of it and you take all the judgment out and you realize, wow, I, I did this. I went from here to here. And it just, it changes something inside of you, causes a transformation where you suddenly own it. Your story is no longer painful. It's empowering. And I'm like, if I can do this for other people, like that is just magic to me. I take people from dark places in lots of pain and make them the experts in what they've overcome so they can turn their hand back and help others come through that journey. And it's it's so powerful. It's, it's powerful enough that the author gets something, but to watch the difference they make to their audience is incredible. So cool. So cool. So there are lots of entrepreneurs out there wanting to have a breakthrough. Based on the breakthroughs that you've been through, do you have any advice for the entrepreneurs out there looking to go to that next level? Get out of your comfort zone. They say like live on the edge. We did that for two years, literally like, oh, every day we weren't making it. It was like, do we eat? Do we not? Do we have somewhere to stay? Do we not? We extremed this concept, but it's made us strong, incredible people. And when you get out of your comfort zone, I make a joke all the time because some of my clients really throw their toys out the pram when we're pushing them out their comfort zone. And my hubby will get all protective of me, like, oh, they're not being very nice. And I'm like, don't worry, at the end of every breakdown is an incredible breakthrough. So when it feels tough and hard and you don't like it, keep going. The only way you fail is if you quit. If you keep going and you push through, there is magic at the other side. And just when you think, I'm so strong, I've got this, something else will come up <laughs> and that will hit you in the face. And if you can just keep moving through those painful moments, you will grow into this incredible version of you. And that's when we can really make a difference to those that are one chapter behind. Well said, 100%. So I'm super curious. Uh, you've been on some amazing adventures and had some, I'm sure you've got incredible stories. If you could go back to the beginning of your entrepreneurial journey and change just one thing, what would that one thing be? Oh, that's a great question. I always joke that I wish I had this book because it would have saved me so much pain. Um, <laughs> maybe I should have been Googling how to live in the world for free back then rather than trying to make money. Getting rid of all the expenses was definitely the fastest way. Actually, I know exactly what it is. So we had all these huge debts that we'd racked up 
due to them fighting the adoption. And we didn't see going bankrupt as an option because a lot of it was friends and family that were there to support us, help save this child. But the thing we did is whenever we got money, we paid everything off. We saved nothing for us. You know, the whole pay yourself first. We didn't live by that. We paid everything off because it's just who we are. They helped us give it back. But we wouldn't have ended up on the street in France if we saved just a little bit for us, for like this emergency fund. So that was a that was a hard lesson. We learned that the hard way. <laughs> so pay yourself first. You read it and think, yeah, but I can't. But no, do it. You just, you have no idea how much that can change the outcome. Just in case, hey? Just in case, that little emergency fund for sure. So... This is an exciting space that you're in, traveling and working around the world. I guess it's like business, no, nomad business, digital business entrepreneur, global citizen. Um, do you have any bold predictions for the future in terms of AI or where the world's going? Uh, what do you see the future of this, this space being? We just wanted that time and location freedom. We just wanted to be free and have our kids just do things because they want to not because they have to to make ends meet which is why they've got their books they're already creating passive income they're investing in stocks and shares and crypto and all this cool stuff at such a young age we want them to have more choice the most beautiful thing for us was we were a couple of years in we were like okay we just want to be off grid out the way away from it all and that's when the pandemic happened so while everyone was struggling in two birds flats not allowed out or half an hour a day we were in sunny Spain. We had 10 acres of land. The kids had quad bikes and adventures. They didn't even know the pandemic was happening. The only thing that changed for them is only one of us went shopping for the food. Everything else was off-grid or electric or water, the wood, like it was all powered there. So that was our greatest gift. We didn't know the pandemic was going to happen, but our timings and the way things worked out, everyone was like, did you know? And what was beautiful about that is it suddenly also changed an angle on our business. We do a lot of parent coaching because of lockdown. People went from, oh, you're a homeschooling mum, little house on the prairie, don't in mum, it's so easy for you. And then lockdown happened. And then the phone rang off the hook, like, how do you do this? How do you work? And kids and, oh. So it, it changed a part of our business. And we also now coach and help parents and help them discover this lifestyle. That's cool. Wow. Talk about making lemonade and um, now helping other families do the same. That's so cool. That's so cool. What would be the main and the number one message you'd really like everyone to, to take home today? Live life on purpose. It sounds so obvious and so easy. People live in Groundhog Day. Have you ever seen that old movie where he just gets up and lives the same day again and again and again? And people call it a comedy and they watch it and they giggle. And then they go out and they go to work and they come home and they eat and then they do the same thing again and again and again. Start living on purpose. Someone asked this amazing question the other day. If I was to offer you a billion dollars, would you take it? And everyone goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the catch is you only get 24 hours to live. Would you still take it? So you're telling me your life is worth more than a billion dollars. Why do you not wake up every day like you won the lottery? In our house, my little boy is always the first to wake up. He comes in, mom, mom. I wake up, we high five, yes, we get another day. And we start every day so grateful that we have woken up. And when you can live on purpose and choose your, choose your life, sometimes it's not easy, but if you can choose to live in gratitude and kindness, it changes the world. Oh, high fives all around, 100%. I love that. <laughs> that's so cute so and definitely for sure gosh what a powerful question if you had a billion dollars but you could only live for 24 hours what would you do or would you hand it back so i've only ever had one person go yeah i'll take it yeah a day <laughs> <laughs> wow fascinating yeah so um i'd love to know would you like to challenge the audience today challenge them, suggest for them to do something, push them in a certain direction, what would be that little push and challenge today? It would be find the gratitude. You know how people wake up, step their toe, that day goes, meh. 
if you're struggling with, with life, with work, with a partner, with a relationship, my absolute thing for everyone is write down five things every day you're grateful. And they have to be different every day. Now, if it's just life in general, you know, the sun came up, you woke up, it can start off with little things. And in relationships, it can be really simple things to start with. But the more you look, the more you find. A key thing I'm always sharing with everyone is you find what you're looking for. If you look for the blessings and the gratitude every single day, they will open up and show you so much more. Whereas if you focus on what you haven't got, what's missing, what went wrong, you will find more of that too. We look for the magic in every day and every day is magical. Is every day easy? No, absolutely not. But can we find the magic? Absolutely. Pearls of wisdom, Laura. This is been such an insightful conversation this has been one of my favorites so uh how can people get in touch with you how can people connect so we are very present on social media um our family if you want to get to know our family stuff it's forever family forever free because we adopted my daughter so she became our forever family and we live around the world so it's forever free if you're interested in our books it's booksboostbusiness.com and i'm of course laura helen we're all over social media if you link to me, you'll find my kids and their incredible books, which are not school topics. It's things like the six human needs, the five love languages, Hanaponopono yoga, meditation, um, finance for kids, how to be fearless. My daughter actually speaks on overcome bullying and suicide and helps kids get over all that incredible heavy stuff because she's awesome. So if you're into things that aren't in the school system, but you know your children need, we have all that good stuff too. Yeah. Incredible. I'm so inspired. I'm definitely going to check you guys out and get in touch and stay connected. Um, yeah, everyone at home, connect with Laura and her family. I'll put the link somewhere around here. But yeah, what an incredible interview. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for having me.